mean, they had Andrew sandwich somewhat, but because he's, uh, he keeps it high over his head, he was able to score easily. It'll be a moving pick on Hilton Armstrong. Fish knows how to sell it, and now the opportunity for a two-for-one. You know the definition of balance? Nine for Gasol, eight for Bynum, seven for Kobe, eight for Fisher. Ariza has got a half dozen off the bench and with the Lakers up by 19 we remind you Jim Hill James Worthy Jack in the box halftime report coming up with 34.3 to play in an incredible start for the Lakers tonight in New Orleans Derek Fisher two for one gets it long two for fish 51 30 they were running their uh, open set but they denied the first pass so fish said we got to get the quick one for two for one he took it quick. I don't know if they'll be able to get a, a good second shot. It was only a two seconds separating shot in game. And after going one for eight last night, Fish filling it up. He's four for seven, and he's the first Laker in double figures with ten. Andrew Bynum and Lamar Odom with West. West forced that. Boy, the defense. That's the story for the Lakers. Lamar, he's got a reason. They shoot it. Gets it off. A little bit long. But they didn't miss many, did they? So the Lakers go to the locker room, holding New Orleans to 30 points in the first 24 minutes okay, of play. You can't play any better defensively than the Lakers have shown here this uh, evening. They really have frustrated this entire Hornets team. Hold them to 28% shooting, the lead by 21. 51-30 Lakers. Time now for Jim Hill, James Worthy. Let's head to the studio and join the guys for the Jack in the Box. Half time. They, they told the Lakers... You cannot get overconfident against this team. These guys are going to come out, especially Chris Paul, with absolutely nothing to lose. They're expecting Byron Scott and the Hornets to turn this second half into a track meet. They're going to try and get the Lakers to run. They're going to try and get their three-point shooters like Peja going and expect a lot of threes and a lot of offense out of New Orleans in this half. They think that this is still a game. Now, whether it is or not, it's a, whole, it's a different story, but they think it's a game, Joel. The guy's first team All-NBA, John, Chris Paul. It's a game. The Lakers have already seen what they can do. They've had 22 to nothing runs already in the first six games this year. Well, again, it's a game for the first five minutes for sure because if the Lakers can win that first five, then it can turn from a game to a wrap. Oh, and here's the first turn. Yeah. Easy start points to start things off for Chris Paul and the Hornets. And if you want to put him back into the game, give them points on turnovers because that's only the fifth of the game for the Lakers. Yeah, you just don't want to uh, be careless and turn it over. But I, I talked about the first five, you know, with the Lakers up 51 to 32. If they win that first five, you can see the margin of uh, distance here. But if they lose it, then it becomes a game. Andrew Bynum, tough catch. He shoved from behind. Kobe. Gets it to him again. He had beaten Peterson. That's why Chandler had to come over. Well, you know, given uh, the Hornets some of their own medicine, that's what Chris Paul and Tyson Chandler just live off of. They really do a great job of a uh, screen, and then Chris will throw it up. Tyson Chandler will throw it down. Second foul on Chris Paul and Kobe from Fish. Going to roll off to West. So the Lakers at 45% in the first half. Paul's got a crease. Andrew Bynum sends it back out, There's though. The guy yep, he can get it back in at 5 to nothing to start. As That's the first basket of the game for Stoyakovich. He was 0 for 8, now 1 for 9. The first three-point basket of the night, so don't let him start to feed him from that distance. Now Gasol with the length, little step-back action over David West, 53-35. So Paul Gasol used his height and his body because he banged into West. West got it in the snod. You can see his reaction. Now probably can get that shot whenever he wants it. Just because of the uh, height differential. But now it's going to be up to the Lakers to stay in the plan defensively. As Chris Paul, he didn't get those in the first half at all. It's back to 16, 53, 37. Uh, and I look for him to be very, very aggressive uh, shooting the ball to help free up some of his teammates. Kobe beat Peterson with the left hand. It'll be batted out, but comes off to Mo Peterson. Got Chris Paul. Yeah, you got a guard. Stoyakovic. So he spaces, he spots up, and will be an early timeout for the Lakers. So a plus eight already in the third quarter as the Lakers led by 21, and it's quickly down to 13. With as much talent when John Ireland brought it up, yeah, it's a game. 21 to nothing to this league, especially if you get it down to 8 or 10 going into the fourth. Not in this league. Andrew Bynum doesn't get the roll. Rusted a little bit. And you can see they're trying to force the tempo so that they don't have to play against 5 and 5. All of a sudden, it's down to 11. 
So the Lakers getting an outscore 12-2 as Chris Paul sets up 